Hello everyone, uh, this is CG Tiff. my name is Tatinda Luayo, and uh, yeah, welcome back. Um, it's been a very long time, a very, very long time, but I figured I have to, um, to actually continue showing and sharing my knowledge in regards to 3D animation and Autodesk Maya, everything that I know and everything that I use for my projects um, I have not been posting at all but hopefully from now on I'll be able to always post regularly and just share my knowledge um, mainly for beginning artists you know people who are just trying to get started in 3d I always try to make my tutorials simple especially for new beginners um new beginning as uh 3d artist so for example like what i have here it's uh it's just a tablecloth and i'm just gonna be showing you how to make that very simple um you, you don't have to make all this but it, like there's a way to make it in a very easy way so let me just uh create a new scene so that we can just start afresh from a clean slate okay so the first thing I'm gonna create a table a very simple table and the way you create the table will also determine you know how this is gonna work but I think you're gonna see you're gonna see how this is gonna work with the table I'm gonna create I'm not really gonna make something that's complicated I'm just gonna make something simple and we're gonna be using end cloth as the title say, says um, let me see yeah and in 3d you should always remember that there are so many I mean I've been creating a lot of 3d models but over the years i've realized that th there's always an easier way or a faster way or a better way depending on the situation that you're in or depending on the type of model you're trying to create there's always a different or a better way of doing things but sometimes you just have to do what you know and you learn from there okay so right now i just created a, uh, created a simple table i mean it, might not be a table but it looks like a table that's all we need <laughs> just gonna create a plane like this okay and then oh yeah and in this tutorial I'm assuming if you're trying to create this type of model you have basic knowledge of how to use Maya in my other tutorials I do um, show you how to you know navigate Maya so uh right now we have our table we just create a polygon plane like this just put it on top like that i think that's okay and what we need to do is you click on end cloth you uh hit create end cloth so if you play if you play it back it should just fall like that okay and then the next thing let me just make this uh, one model I'm going on the modeling menu and hit oh, which one is it I think I'm looking for combine yeah okay so now it's one model so now I just click the cloth the the, the um, plane and the table and then I go back to my effects menu hit end cloth and then I hit create passive collider so now when I play it you know it's actually colliding with the table but as you can see it's not it's not really folding the way we want it to it's because of the subdivision there they are not enough subdivision so let me just undo that yeah I think this is far enough and then on the, in on the image plane, we just select the subdivision width and height. Let's just put it to 50. 
I mean, maybe you don't need that much, but you know, just to make sure that it works. Oh yeah, I actually undid the combining. Let me just, I mean, you don't need to, I can actually do it without doing it. So I click the tablecloth, I, but then now I have to click everything. And then I select end cloth, create, um, I forgot I'm supposed to create end cloth first. <laughs> okay, let me just make sure that it's actually, oh yeah, it's working, but it's a bit slow. Let me see, let me add some frames. There is a setting that will make the simulation faster. Um, but okay so now it's working but it's slower because there are more polygons involved so now i select the the polygon plane and then i hit end cloth create passive collider so now when i hit play it should create the drapes properly yep just like that and also depending on your computer that's also gonna determine how this is gonna work but I mean you can simulate it until it stops but I can just stop it here if I want to so now the thing is you might not want, not want to animate it like that and you might not want all the uh, these um, effects in and you just want the model like this so what you do is you select the, the image plane without touching the timeliner and then you just duplicate it hit Control D on your keyboard and then you just rename that I'm just gonna name it table cloth save that which is this one but I still have the old one with the effects uh, which is, where is it? yeah that one so I just select that one along with all these um, effects the nucleus the end cloth and then I just delete them like that so now the one that I have doesn't have any if I hit play it's not gonna change so it's now just a model and I mean from here I can do whatever I want I can add textures I can pretty much do what, uh, do whatever I want so I mean this was just a quick you know something quick to because uh, some of these things that may look complicated to do they, they are not really com uh, complicated as long as you know all uh, some like the tools in Maya you can make your modeling process much faster because I can understand um, I can understand that this process might take longer if you're modeling this you know by hand um, without using any effects or anything like that so I hope this knowledge will help you out in your projects um, if you have any questions or any re requests you can just put them down in the comments and I will see if I'm able to help. Thanks for watching.